Well, developers doing some heavy lifting, quite literally, as they submit casino applications. The deadline for those applications was 4 o'clock today. Five projects are competing for up to two resorts here in the Capital Region. Those plans include one in Schenectady, which is backed by Capital Region Gaming. Take a look at this stack of boxes, all part of the application process. Another plan in Schoharie County, How Caverns Resort and Casino. Hard Rock International is pushing a plan along the waterfront in Rensselaer. The Saratoga Casino and Raceway is backing a plan in East Greenbush along with Churchill Downs. And an application was submitted for a casino in Amsterdam. It's backed by the Florida Acquisition Group. Though what it would be called is still a mystery tonight. Now, as we mentioned, trucks kept rolling in to drop off those applications at gaming headquarters in Schenectady. 16 applications at all. Brandon Lewis is live in our studio tonight to explain what exactly is in all those boxes. Well, Greg, each one contains several copies of the developer's proposal. Now, unlike a job or loan application that we might be familiar with, the initial guide for an application was 81 pages long, and companies have to provide several studies, renderings, and projections, but you won't find those behind casinos complaining too much as they envision it taking shape. We're very bullish on having a great site in the city that needs it. Walking around the old Alco site. It's a great piece of real estate. Dave Buchel of the Glessy Group can already see the Mohawk Harbor Casino and Resort. Right on the other side of that white building. So that'll be the north side of it. And up by that sign there where the pile is, is that's going to be the hotel. Glessy is among five applicants to submit applications for a casino license in the capital region. Also competing is East Greenbush, Amsterdam, House Cavern, and Rensselaer. We've got the need. We meet all the qualifications more than anyone else as far as the RFKs goes. And my main concern, my main theme is the fact that this will generate more revenue for the state because of Hard Rock. In fact, both Rensselaer and Schenectady have similar plans to revitalize waterfront property. They all have their advantages and disadvantages. But Schenectady's Galassi thinks it has an edge when it comes to economic revitalization. We think the impact of Schenectady's big. If you take a look at our average, uh, our wages, we've got 36000 dollars as opposed to some of the others. You've got how many people living in poverty. And if we can get people out of the line going into social services and get them into productive and keeping our people here, it's coming down what we can do to reduce taxes and reinvest in some of the urban areas. Construction started today in Schenectady on the first part of Mohawk Harbor, focusing on the mixed-use apartment and retail area. The Gaming Commission will select at least one, possibly two sites for the Capital Region in the fall. Application rules mandate they start gaming operations within 24 months. Live in studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.